Okay, we'll go ahead and open up for questions for Coach Wilcox. What was uh, kind of your message to the to the guys after this one? It's a tough one because uh, I mean everybody just you know kicked in the gut, and uh, you know first uh, how much I respect our team for how hard they play and how hard they prepare. They're an unbelievably coachable group, and uh, love them for that. They bring it every every single week, and it hurts really bad, and it hurts because we had chances, and they know it. Um, we don't need to relive all those things. We'll we'll fix it on the film. There'll be a time and place for that. But they know we had opportunities, and uh, that stings. But uh, we've we've grown this year as a team, uh, on and off the field, and that's important. And you know, there's not a ton of ton that you can tell them right now. It's going to make anybody feel better. But uh, it's the truth, and we're going to meet again as a team tomorrow. So they're all going to. It's gonna be tough for the next 24 hours for everybody. David, uh, Coach, when you gauge the development of your program, how much weight do you put on the series with Stanford, and how much do you think the gap is closing? Um, really, just looking for us to improve, you know, and we know Stanford is a heck of a program. I mean, been doing, been winning a long time and uh, got a lot of respect for their coaches and the way they play. Um, but each and every week we're, we're trying to improve. And yeah, it means winning. I mean, at the end of the day, it means winning. That's what it, this is all about. That's why we do everything we do is to win. And so when you don't, it, uh, it hurts. But, uh, you know, there are things that y you look at each performance and you look at the good and you look at the, the things you need to improve upon. And uh, you take stock in both. It's just, you know, we've got to continue to grow as a team. I think it's pretty obvious. Um, but I'm confident in the group of people that we have on and off the field. And uh, I'm excited to get back to work and keep coaching these guys through the bowl game. What did you kind of see from Chase tonight? To mm -hmm. uh, I thought Chase did some good things. He seemed to be more comfortable. He was in rhythm. He seemed confident. Uh, there were some throws that Chase would love to have back. I'm sure, I, you know, that's always going to be the case. Um, you know, I thought he got better. I think that's probably the biggest thing. I thought he got better. And, uh, you know, he's a young player. Um, and uh, he's got to continue to improve. But uh, I thought he took a step forward, even though there were some opportunities that you know, again, he would probably love to have back. I think uh, Jordan Kanazi was probably the last guy off the field, stayed out there for, for quite a while. I know you want to win for everybody, but how, how much do you feel for, for that senior group and how bad yeah. they wanted it? Yep, uh, you do feel for everybody. And, uh, you know, it means as much to Jordan as it does anybody in our program. and because he puts so much into it and he's such a, a great leader for us and he just cares and that's I love him for it you know it's just I wish we could do have done more to help him and, and the rest of the guys it's just I don't know how to answer any better than that it, it's it sucks you know but uh, Jordan he's got a really bright future in football and life and I know he appreciates this and yeah you wish you could have done it for him and, and the rest of the guys and found a way to, to win the game. And the reality is we didn't. And uh, we got to live with that, but not all is lost. How much does it help that after the 24-hour sting maybe dulls a little bit that you know you're going to go to a bowl game? Um, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, it's always one of our goals is to, to win a bowl game. So we, we gave ourselves that opportunity, and we're going to – Bowl practice is going to be uh, something that I know they're going to be excited to get back to work. And this one will, you know, since we don't have a game week next week, honestly, it might be the more, more than 24 hours. It's the reality of it. Um, but yeah, we get to we get to play again. Our, this team, you know, this group of guys gets to play together again, and we get to practice and work together and develop some of the younger guys who haven't got as many reps. So that's a big deal.
Stanford offense looked pretty unstoppable on their first two drives. What, what changed after that, either in terms of scheme or just execution? I think the second part, really, we just kind of settled down and played better, and they made some good plays. They, you know, they got weapons. Stanford's a really good offense, um, and they're good on defense too. But uh, the guys kind of settled down, and the key was. Uh, getting some early down wins, you know, first and second down early, those first two drives in the first half, man, it was like, you know, they first and second down for them, they were ahead of schedule and that makes it really difficult. So uh, the guys really settled down and then we started getting some first and second down wins and then we were able to get off the field really until uh, that, that last drive. I mean, after those first couple guys really settled in and were playing real confident and fast and uh, did a really nice job in the last drive. Uh, they moved the ball, you know, better, but I think it was just settling down and playing better, honestly. What made uh, them so, so effective in the screen game today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, the guys they're throwing it to and the, the setup, you know, they, they keep you off balance with it. It slows, you know, the people do that because it slows your pass rush down and your O-linemen are able to get down the field and, and screen you. They hit a really big one for a touchdown, as we all know. Um, and, uh, you know, that's we do enough stuff that they kind of wanted to maybe take the stinger off a little bit and take advantage of some of those. They get And they're throwing it to really talented guys that can break a tackle or make somebody miss. So utilizing all their weapons. Um, the four drives that the Cal offense got into the red zone, or yeah, the four drives where Cal got into the red zone, three of those turned into field goal attempts. Only one was a touchdown, and that was with 10 seconds left to go. How come this offense wasn't able to execute earlier in the game and, and turn those field goal opportunities into potential touchdowns? Well, it's going to be yeah, missed opportunities. We had chances. We just it's, It comes down to execution, you know, and we had chances in the red zone, uh, and we weren't able to capitalize. I mean, it's going to be everybody involved. You know, It's going to be either the blocking, the throwing, the catching, the running. I mean, it's not one person and it's not one call, it's not one thing, it's gonna be a combination of things. When, you're, when you get down to the red zone like that, we all know that was an issue today, that we weren't able to score touchdowns and you're gonna have a hard time beating Stanford without scoring touchdowns. And so um, just, we gotta to continue to work at it, you know, and uh, we gotta execute better in the red zone. That be, that's pretty obvious. After your defense kind of settled down, they were really good, but then on that final drive, you guys just couldn't get off the field. Was the defense doing anything different or was Stanford's offense? No, I mean, it's, again, similar answer. Uh, we had a chance to get off the field, and uh, on a third down, we got a you know, critical penalty. And, and, you know, Tevin feels awful. You know, he's a good kid. He cares about the team. He works, you know, he works his butt off, and it was – Got a penalty, and that one uh, kept the drive alive. And then they made a couple plays, contested catches. You know, there was a couple that was like first and ten. They make it a contested catch for, you know, five or six yards, and that's a that's a big deal because now they're on schedule, second and four, and everything changes as opposed to second and ten. So they made some good plays. We didn't finish as well. Uh, it was it wasn't a lack of want to or trying by our guys. I mean, guys competed their butts off. We just didn't make the plays that we needed to to get a stop, and uh, that's what happened. Got time for one or two more? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got our two